All right, what's going on everybody? Captain here, back with another Marvel Conscious of Champions video. Today, guys, oh my goodness, we have a pretty exciting video. Dr. Doom himself has entered the contest, and I have this character because of the content creator program. So uh, I do not get to keep this character. Uh, he'll be taken away from my account actually tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, I've had very little time to practice with this guy. Uh, I, I was working all morning, so then I got home finally, and I'm like, I gotta play around with him a little bit, I gotta make a video, it's Dr. Doom, and plus, you know, I haven't been able to do a, a content creator program in a while, mainly because I am usually working when I get the character. Um, so yeah, but before we dive into Dr. Doom, I want to say a few things, uh, some things that you should expect on the channel soon, uh, and just kind of some other things that I'm going to be changing. So one, first things first is I upgraded, got an iPhone 11, so I might make some videos on my iPhone 11, so screen-wise it might change at some point, I don't know, uh, but don't be surprised when you see if it looks different, that's why. Uh, mainly I just use my iPad, which is usually, it's still going to be my primary, I think, because uh, I enjoy playing on that, but cool that I got the 11. Uh, also, I am been working on a PC. I've been upgrading it, so eventually I'm going to switch my whole video recording and editing process onto my PC uh, and hopefully be able to make videos smoother and um, live stream more and because it'll be a lot more reliable and everything than my MacBook. Uh, so I'm really excited for that, guys, uh, as well as some other big stuff, guys, that's coming. I am about to hit 10,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. 10,000, that is such an insane number, guys. Before Comic-Con, I was, I was nowhere even near that. Uh, and I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll hit 10K by the end of the year. But now it would look like we have a legit chance to do it, guys. So if you could help me out, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, guys, if you enjoy the videos on the channel. Uh, and like I said, got some fun stuff that I'm going to do once I hit 10K. Uh, so guys, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now let's go ahead and dive into Dr. Doom. So what is there to say about Dr. Doom? I mean, I know there's already people that have uh, done a lot of videos about him. So I'm just going to do a quick summary and then get into some videos that I've done. Like I said, I've only had maybe about an hour and a half, two hours to play around with the character. So it's just kind of like the first thing I think of. So yeah, uh, a couple things to say off the bat. He has a few immunities. So he's immune to armor break, armor shatter, and shock. So not the most, you know, the most favorite immunities they have, but they might be some useful ones here and there in certain scenarios. Uh, he inflicts shocks on medium attacks uh, if they don't already have a shock active. Uh, so one of the things that comes to mind there with the shock, if you need a counter for the Kang boss in variant three, it's a pretty reliable way to get a shock on him so he doesn't regen that health. He also has an incinerate that he gets from the SB2, so that's another way to prevent it. And then even from his awaken ability, uh, he can inflict a shock that lasts six seconds uh, whenever he nullifies a buff. Um, if they didn't have a shock active, I think it is. If it isn't a shocked, uh, whenever Doom nullifies buff, they have 100% chance to inflict a shock. Yes, yeah, so as long as there's no shock, you nullify a buff, you inflict another shock. So I can't remember if Kang has any buffs now that I think about it, but hey, he has this shock the other way from the medium attack as well as the incinerate on the SP2. So could be used for that. Um, he has this aura of Hazaroth. Hazar I don't know how to say that, but I'm sure someone will we'll figure it out eventually. Um, but while he has this active, his special attacks are unblockable, so that is pretty nice. Light attacks grant no power, but you steal power from the opponent um and so that's kind of cool you'll be able to see that in the fight um he becomes unstoppable and stun immune against the last hit of incoming special one and special two and heavy attacks so i haven't ran into this yet but it, it seems like it might be kind of a way might be an annoying thing on defense especially um so if you're facing him make sure you're paying attention if he has that aura up you don't want to be using it's your special one, special two, or a heavy attack because at the end of it, he's going to be unstoppable and stun immune. So you won't be able to rely on those heavy stuns or those special one or special two chain stuns and whatnot. Uh, so something to be aware of if you run into a Doom on defense. Uh, I think that's kind of the basics for his basic abilities. Uh, special one, uh, you siphon energy ba power basically. Based on how much power they have, uh, you gain more power. He is an absolute like special monster. I meant to say that at the beginning, like 
you're you're throwing specials with this guy like crazy. There's power gain all over the place, uh, and it kind of like each special has its own different scenario, like what time you want to use it and when the when's best to use it. Uh, I find the special one so far seems that you more so want to use it when they have more power, because then you gain more power. Otherwise, you, you know you only you only gain power based on how much they have, if that makes sense, based on a full bar of power. Um, so if they don't have a lot of power, no really point in using the special one. So then I always build up to the special three, but we'll get to that in a second. So special two, each beam hits, each beam hit has a hundred percent chance to inflict incinerate debuff dealing 2,291 direct damage over five seconds. So it's a good amount of incinerate damage uh, in the last five seconds. So it's a good amount. You'll see it starts ticking away quite a bit. So it is some good damage there. Special three, 100% chance to inflict a passive stun. Um, and then also inflicting, it, it triggers the aura of Hazaroth uh, for 12 seconds. So longer than the SB1, only lasts six seconds. Uh, SB3 lasts 12. And he also gains a massive fury increase in health or in attack, uh, gaining over 2000 attack rating. Um, and this can stack, if you can get to a second special three, you can stack it up to two. So I haven't done that just yet, because like I said, I only had a little bit of time. I wanted to get this video recorded, up to upload, uploaded before I get him off my account. Maybe I'll try to record some stuff with that. The special cycle that I kind of found that worked best for me, which I'll showcase in a Winter Soldier fight in a bit, was I built up to my special three. I get that aura up. I use a special one right once I get it because it is hoping that they have a lot of power after I use my special three then um, I get a lot of power from that special one and then I can use my special two get those incinerates and if I can get off to another special one I'll use another special one steal even more power and uh, by then usually the 12 seconds is kind of up so you'll, you'll kind of see it once I get into the fight guys but let's go ahead and jump into the actual fights all right, so this first fight, we're going up against Hyperion in Variant 2, where it is based off of the size of the characters. You will take the glancing hits based on what size the character are, characters are. Doctor Doom is listed as a medium character, which means I can only use my medium attacks or intercepting or a special three. So uh, I decided to take Doctor Doom here also because one of his abilities, when you use a heavy attack, you inflict a stagger. Staggers are nice to use against Hyperion. And then I have some synergies along with it. So we've got Diablo. So whenever you land a heavy attack, when a stagger is active on the opponent, it makes sure that it is a critical hit. Um, Morning Star allows me to deal a little bit of extra burst damage um, whenever I nullify a buff. So those kind of go hand in hand. They work nicely together using the heavies only. Uh, uh, and then Human Torch is just a Fury synergy. Uh, with Dr. Doom as well as the other Fantastic Four characters have that synergy with him. Then Medusa was just another, I think, Fury synergy with uh, someone. I don't remember which person it was. It might have been Human Torch. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I got going on synergies there. Uh, so let's go ahead and start this fight. Again, this is in Variant 2. And uh, this Hyperion, it has improved power gain. Uh, so yeah, he, he is a, a kind of an annoying one to fight if you don't go in with the right characters. So let's go ahead, guys, and see how this fight goes. Um, so again, only heavies and SB2, and you'll see how fast this power gain goes. So there we go. There, That's what his heavy looks like. Basically just throws his hand there, uh, bait out the SB1s. Again, going in with the heavies. I got two stacked on now, his power gain. He gets it, He gets to that special one based off one, one or two hits pretty much. Uh, but so far, we're doing pretty good. We've already hit, took him, took, taken him down almost 20%. Uh, there it is, uh, just off of heavy attacks. And we're almost at a special three, and we've used five heavy attacks. So there we go at the special three. I think I throw it right after here. Yep, so there we go. Uh, I missed the perfect 20%, but that's fine. Um, using the SP3 here, and Hyperion is on top of some building. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Uh, but there you go. Pretty cool looking special three animation and you get that guaranteed stun So I get another heavy in there so I can keep those staggers going now. He's up to SB2. I want to uh, make sure I bait that out um, But I'm in a pretty good situation. I whiffed on a heavy attack there thought I might have had a reach on that But his reach isn't the biggest but you can counter his SB2 as you saw right there um, With the heavy attack 
And you can see again, I'm already up to my SP3 once again. Uh, so his power gain is absolutely ridiculous, especially I have Mystic Dispersion at 4 of 5, I believe, right now. Uh, so every time he loses those buffs, I gain power even faster. Uh, and you can see this Hyperion is just dropping. And again, I, I didn't mention it before, but this is only a rank 3 um, Dia or Dr. Doom. I almost said Diablo. Uh, I might have, have I been saying Diablo? I don't even know. Um, there we go. This Hyperion goes down. Uh, but yes, with a rank 3 character, and um, I didn't talk about his prestige, but as most of you know by now, his prestige is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but that fight went pretty smoothly against the Hyperion. So let's go ahead and now kind of show you what I was talking about earlier with uh, his special cycling. Um, so here we go. I've built this fight up quite a while in cutaways into this Winter Soldier fight. Build up to my SP3. He had uh, a little bit over a bar of power. So my goal after I use this SP3 is to get back up to my special one and then use my special one to take away some of his power so that I gain a lot of power. And you'll see right there, he has that stun. You can get a sneaky two mediums and then a full five hit combo in. Gets me to my special one. I get back over a special one just from doing that. Try to get a parry there. And you can see just from after using my special one, I get a bunch of power gain. Use a special two, land those incinerates. And again, I'm already back up to another SP1. Um, and I steal a lot of power from using that SP1. And I mean, just look at that. Like how I just used what, like four specials in, I don't even know, in the matter of that 12 seconds from the, uh, the SP3 Fury that we had. Uh, or yeah, from the uh his ability i can't remember what it's called at the moment uh but this fight is just about to go down you get back up to another sp3 gonna try to basically do that exact same thing we just did um and hopefully finish off the fight pretty quickly here and you can see here we're getting him down down to five percent to get the sp1 again and basically that sp1 when he has a lot of power you're getting so much power back uh it's pretty nice and then I wanted to finish it off with an SP2 there, but I had enough damage to finish him off before I got there. Uh, but there it is. That That's kind of what you can do with his special attacks. And obviously, if you're going up against uh, characters that have a lot of buffs and whatnot, you can play the fight differently. Uh, but against the Winter Soldier, that's kind of the best way I found that to be. So that's kind of going to be against characters that don't have a lot of buffs. So there you have it, guys. Some quick Doctor Doom gameplay. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it from other content creators as well some people probably have done more thorough breakdowns they've had a little bit little more time than i've had i just threw this together as as fast as i could when i with still being able to give you some helpful uh tips and ideas of what to expect with the character the last thing i'll talk about is uh prestige wise uh his prestige i believe is like 10,850 or, or something in that ballpark i can't remember the exact number and just to show you where he lands on mine remember he is a rank three maxed out five star just to show you right here rank three 450 uh, level 45 uh and he ranks above my six star angela my rank four star lord my rank four ghost rider vision uh thing luke cage all, all these six stars he's above like all of these guys right here and he's only a rank three <laughs> like what is going on right now he his prestige is absurd guys um, I hit his, his arena is going to break some records because of that alone. Uh, he, but overall he seems like a pretty fun character and I'm sure there's people out there going to find some insane uses for him with that power gain. And like I said, he, he's, you spam those specials pretty crazy if you play him the right way or I don't even, I don't even know the right way to play him just yet. This is just the way that I've kind of put together in the brief time I've had with him. Uh, but let me know, guys, what you think of Dr. Doom. Is he living up to the hype so far, or are you guys disappointed with what is going on? And don't forget, I don't get to keep this character. He is going away from my account. I will have to earn him if I want to get him. Uh, but that's going to do for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button again, guys. Remember, we're getting close to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.